Welcome to the first lesson of the course. In this lesson, I will guide you through the process of setting up basic Oki cluster with Terraform. This type of cluster supports all essential features offered by Kubernetes and container engine for Kubernetes, but it lacks the advanced functionalities available in enhanced clusters, like virtual nodes, cluster add-on management, and VCN connectivity to pods. Although basic clusters are equipped with a service level objective, SLO, they do not come with financially backed service level agreement, SLA. Now it's type, time to move to topology diagram review. This is a topology diagram of Oki basic cluster deployment. As you can see, we will use one OCI region. In our case, it will be Frankfurt. In this region, we will create one VCN and this VCN will have three subnets. One subnet for load balancer for the future use, one subnet for API endpoint of Kubernetes cluster, and one subnet for nodes and pods. Additionally, we'll have NAT gateway and internet gateway plus security lists and route tables. The Kubernetes nodes will be deployed as compute instances and it will be three nodes as a bare minimum for high availability. And this is uh, the end of the review. Now we can move directly to the code. Okay, I'm now in a GitHub repository where you can find the code for Terraform Oki module, which has been uh, prepared for this training. So let me go directly to the training subdirectory and next to the first les lesson with basic cluster. I scroll down and here I can pick up the command to make a clone of the repository in my cloud shell. Within a second, we should have access to the terminal. So I will run this command just to create a copy of the repository in my uh, cloud shell. Then I will go directly to the right subdirectory and then I will go directly to the first lesson. What is important here we have a code and here we have also some sort of an example of Terraform TFVars file. So as you can see here we have few elements to populate. First of all it is a tenancy OCID so let me just minimize cloud share for, for a sec, I will navigate through Hamburger menu directly to governance and administration and then tenancy details. In tenancy details, I will be able to find the OCID of my tenancy. I will copy that, I will restore again my cloud shell and I will replace the tenancy template which is here and uh, then I need to have compartment, right? So let me do another trick. I will go to governance administration. I will go to tenancy explorer and I will go directly to my Terraform compartment. And, it, and here in a Terraform compartment, I will be able to copy the compartment OCID, right? Now I can restore back again my uh, terminal and uh, let me find where I am not fully sure okay I'm here I will move here I will delete this value and I will copy OCID taken directly from 
uh, my console. And next, I need to change region into a real region, which is EU Frankfurt, right? Because I'm in Frankfurt. Now I can save this file and I can copy this example file into the right file, which is Terraform TFRs. Now I can do something additional, which means I will open the code in a Terraform, uh, in a code editor. And uh, I need to wait a few seconds because Terraform the code editor is just launching. I can close the cloud shell because I will have it sooner or later in my code editor. And then I can open the right directory for me. And this is the right directory with my repository. So after that and the relaunch of the code editor, I should be in the editor. Super. So here is my editor. And what I can do, I can go directly again to the training, lesson number one. And in this uh, terminal, which is embedded in my code editor, I can run Terraform init. And my Terraform will be initialized. Before going further, let's do the exploration of what we have in this lesson. First of all, Terraform uh, file named OKTF. As you can see here, I'm using the module, which is published on GitHub. And instead of just writing everything by myself, I'm just using this module to create OK with the surrounding. I'm passing Terraform OCID, I'm passing the compartment, I'm telling here to create basic cluster. I'm also telling to utilize ARM shapes which are part of the free tier, and I'm using node OCPUs set to one and node memory set to four. So each and every compute instance which will build uh, OK cluster will have those parameters. What is also important, <clears throat> I'm telling here to uh, do not use external OC, uh, external network. I'm just asking module to create the network for OK cluster uh, by itself, right? I'm also telling that API endpoint subnet, load balancer subnet and node pool subnet will be public. That's why we have true here. So this piece of code will create everything what is needed for my OKE cluster. So let me run Terraform apply here in this terminal. So as you can see, it will create 14 resources, which will be, let's say, dictated by this module, which includes many different elements, such as VCN, such as node pool subnet, such as load balancer subnet, such as endpoint subnet, such as uh, service gateway, such as security list, yet another one, uh, route table, uh, yet another route table, NAT gateway, internet gateway, as well as node pool and cluster itself. Okay, so now we are ready and let me click let me type yes to create those 14 resources and we will wait a few minutes to finish. For now, I will pause the recording. As you can see, eight minutes have passed. So let us verify and discover where we are. So let me minimize the cloud shell. And what I will do, I will go directly to the networking just to see those fun fundamental elements. So as you can see, we have VCN, 
And in this VCN, we have three uh, subnets. All of them are public, as we have decided um, in our um, invocation for the module. Uh, we have route tables. Um, the route table for going through NAT gateway or internet gateway. We have internet gateway here. Uh, we have NAT gateway. We have service gateway. So all of the elements of the network infrastructure have been created. We have also secured the list for node pool and endpoint. Uh, so let me go directly to uh, our developer services and into um, uh, Kubernetes cluster. So as you can see, the cluster is uh, active. And as you can see, we have the cluster type equal to basic. And I believe now we are creating the node pool, right? So if we go down, we have three nodes which are in a creating state. So I'm assuming it will be uh, visible here in compute instances as three nodes, three compute instances with a one flex shape, right? Um, and those nodes will be uh, then used as a part of the Oki cluster. Okay, so the process is ongoing. And uh, yeah, we can monitor here also in a work request. So cluster is done and node pool is in the middle. Let me pause the recording and we'll, uh, I will be back when all of the elements will be done. As you can see here, the process is finished. So apply complete, 14 resources added. Let me then um, minimize the cloud shell. And as you can see, the node pool creation is finished. Uh, so just to be sure, let me go to instances and all three nodes or all three compute instances are up and running. So let's return back to developer services and the cluster itself. And uh, yeah, so let me go again to the node pool. The truth is uh, the Kubernetes node condition is not ready. So if we really want to deploy something, we need to wait here uh, to have those uh, three uh, dots, which are red, uh, turned into green. Uh, it will take some time, but uh, for now it is not necessary for us. So let me return back to the cluster. As I have mentioned, the cluster type is basic. Theoretically, from here we can upgrade that to enhanced cluster, but we won't do that because we are using Terraform. What is important and visible immediately is uh, here, right? So for basic cluster, we cannot use uh, VCN native uh, Kubernetes cluster, uh, OK cluster. The only way is to use original one flannel overlay. So our pods won't be connected to any VCN directly, right? We will go through this overlay given by flannel. Another thing which is visible for basic cluster is a question of add-ons. So some add-ons are just essential for a cluster to run and they are added by default. But as you can see, there is no such option to add anything else or change what we have here. So in a, in a basic cluster, those elements are essentially static, right? And this is uh, the end of uh, our, uh, let's say, uh, lesson. But before stopping that, let me uh, return back uh, in our cloud shell. And what I will do, I will run Terraform Destroy. And Terraform Destroy will eliminate all of the elements uh, of my infrastructure. 
in the right sequence. So 14 resources will be destroyed. Now we are destroying the node pool. So we can see in work requests, node pool delete, right? And within a few minutes, I expect to have all the resources destroyed, including network, uh, which is B below OK cluster. Okay, let me pause the recording and I will be back when all of that will be done. So as you can see, 14 resources uh, have been destroyed. So let me just minimize the cloud shell. So you don't see any cluster here. And I can go to compute instances. All three are terminated and I can verify the cloud network as well. There is no VCN, and there is no subnets and anything else. So now it looks like the whole uh, thing is destroyed. That's con that concludes uh, the first lesson of this course and I believe we see soon in the next lecture.